So to download and install Sodia for Minecraft 1.20 or later, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we need to do is to open our Minecraft launcher and you want to open an instance of Minecraft 1.20. This is because it's going to download the 1.20 files that our mods can download and install onto. So once Minecraft 1.20 loads up, you can go ahead and quit the game because the files have now been installed. But the next step is to download Fabric so we can install our mods. And to do this, you need to go to your web browser and you want to go to the fabricmc.net website. Now I'll leave a link in the description. From here, you want to click on the download here button and then you want to click on download for Windows. However, if you're on Mac or any other platform, you want to use the universal installer. So we're going to click on download for Windows and we're going to save the Fabric installer to our desktop. You'll also need to install the Fabric API as many mods require this. So you want to click on the Fabric API link and this will take you to the CurseForge website. From here, we just need to click on the download button. And then after a few seconds, the download should start. And again, we're going to go ahead and save the Fabric API to our desktop, just as it did with the Fabric installer. So now we've got the Fabric installer and the Fabric API downloaded, we just need to go ahead and download the Sodium mod. And to do this, you want to open up your web browser and you want to go to the Sodium mod page on Modrinth. And I'll leave a link in the description. This is going to tell you all about Sodium and what it can do, and it's really impressive. So to download Sodium, all we need to do is click on the versions tab just at the very top. Then you want to select the version of Sodium you want. So in this case, we want 1.20. From here, you want to click on the download button. And then again, we're going to download the mod. So we're going to download it to our desktop just as we did with everything else. Okay, so now we've got everything downloaded. We just need to go ahead and install them. So to do this, you want to right click on our fabric installer and open it. And it will be a little box and it will look like this. So to install Fabric, you can install it on your client side or server side, but in this case we're going to install it on client. So you want to select the drop down menu and select your Minecraft version, in this case we want 1.20. On the loader version, you just want to use the latest version. You then want to make sure it's installed into the correct Minecraft location, which it is, then make sure create profile is ticked and click on install. After a few seconds, Fabric will install to Minecraft and then you want to click on OK. Once that's done, we can exit out of the Fabric installer. So now the Fabric installer has been installed, we just need to go ahead and install the Sodium mod and Fabric API. To do this you want to right click on your Windows icon, or you want to select the run command. And from here you just want to type in percent app data percent, just like this, and then click on OK. Your file explorer should open up and you should see your .minecraft installation at the top. You want to click into this, and you'll see loads of files. From here you want to click on new, and then click on folder. And you want to add a new folder called mods just like this you then want to click into the mods folder and from here we just need to drag and drop the fabric api and sodium mod into the mods folder just like this this is where you're going to install all of your fabric mods in the future you download them and drag and drop them into the mods folder just like this once you've done that you can exit out of your file explorer and we just need to go ahead and open minecraft so to start using Minecraft without Fabric Mods, we just need to open our installer again and then you want to click on the Release drop-down menu and you want to select the Fabric Loader version. From here you just want to click on Play, then click on I understand the risks and click on Play. So once Minecraft loads up, you'll notice that it says the version number and it will also say modded in brackets below. If you click into the Option settings and then click on Video settings, you notice it has changed because you're now using the Sodium Performance mod. Now if you want to change any of your video settings, I recommend changing the general settings and the quality settings only, and I recommend leaving the performance and advanced settings as they are by default, unless you know what you're doing. In general, if you want more performance, you just want to turn all of these settings off or down, and if you want better visual quality, you want to turn them on or up. So once you're ready, you can go ahead and click on done, and you can start playing Minecraft just as you normally would. And that is all you need to do to install the Minecraft performance mod Sodium. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like and pass on to one who may find it helpful as well. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.